Joel is all about the day of the Lord. It's not just a 24 hour day and it's not the end of the world. Rather, it's a period of judgment. It may last one day, it may be longer, but it's a time when the sovereign, holy God deals with sin and wickedness and rebellion. Let me just read for you a few of Joel's descriptions of the day of the Lord. 115, alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is near and it will come as destruction from the Almighty. Two, one and two. Blow a trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord is coming. Surely it is near, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and thick darkness. 2.11 The day of the Lord is indeed very great and very awesome. Who can endure it? Although the day of the Lord reveals the judgment of God, yet we also see his grace. His tenderness. I just read 2.11, but here's 2.12 and 13. Yet even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with weeping, fasting, and mourning, and rend your heart and not your garments. Now return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, and abounding in loving kindness and relenting of evil. And 227, thus you will know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God. So we are faced with two environments, two realities. Here's 230, I will display wonders in the sky and on the earth, blood, fire and columns of smoke. The sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. And it will come about that whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. We can either face that day of judgment or we can call on the name of the Lord and be saved. 314. Multitudes multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision the invitation the call is there for us to decide to will we call out to the Lord for his salvation for his forgiveness and grace will we repent and come to him or will we stand before him and receive his judgment on that last day.